this thing, this thing blocks me from putting the chair under the desk. It's nice to be in this position sometimes, but I can't do it if it's this high. sounds so cool. Today is day 2 of ENT aka ears, nose, and throat aka if you're a patient, it's the doctor you visit if masakit yung ilong, masakit yung tenga, masakit yung throat mo, o may sore throat ka, among other things. Today, we are gonna be having an SGD on maxillofacial trauma. Which just means like, fractures of the face. Hold on. What? Okay. Anyway, my mom just told me that I have to go up to the roof to clean it. Because it's rainy season, magbara and like, pumasak yung tubig dito sa loob ng bahay. So, yeah, more on ENT later. <laughs> but what I was just really trying to say is here, look. Yeah, maxillofacial trauma is basically like trauma to the face. Look at all those fractures. So yeah, that's basically what our SGD is going to be about later, but like what my mom said, I gotta go upstairs first to clean the roof! Welcome to... Welcome to the roof! Yeah, not much leaves. Just a few under the tree. So I guess I gotta clean that up for now. Ugh. It's my mom. Where is she? She's there. Huh? I have an SGD at 12. I, have, I'm, I need to get ready. I have to clean this before I do the SGD. You know, back in uh, first year med, back in YL5, the hardest first semester module we had was was head and neck. And that's basically what ENT is. It was just... I don't know. If there are any first year medical students from Ateneo watching, the first module you'll have is PNP, Principles and Perspectives. Really easy, just an introduction. Number two, the second module you'll have is Cell. Cell is hard because imagine this. In college, you took biochem, you took org chem, you took all the other types of chemistry, biology subjects throughout the four years of college. But here in cell, you take all, all of those subjects again and all of those topics again and you compress it into two weeks worth? Four weeks? Two or four weeks, I forgot. But it's either two weeks or four weeks worth of learning. So imagine all the, the four years worth of learning in biology and chemistry, you relearn again and you get tested on in the matter of four weeks. After that is HEMA, hematology, after that is MSK, musculoskeletal, and after that module number five is head and neck. Head and neck for me was the hardest first semester module in YL5 because parang pagod ka na nga sa cell, papagurin ka pa sa HEMA, sobrang pagod ka na sa MSK, and then last, before the Christmas break is head and neck, and it runs for, I think, it was supposed to run for four weeks, but because of like the APEC week back in 2017, when I was YL5, it ended up being nine days only. So imagine learning the whole head and neck, all the nerves, all the muscles, all the artery, blood supply, whatever, in nine days. Kasama na dun yung dissection, ha? So here, let me show you. 
So this is this is just part of all the things that you have to learn in the head and neck. So all of these muscles, all of these branches and nerves, and here's the thyroid, all uh, carotid artery, maganon. This is what the inside of the nose looks like. That's the eye. You also learn about the eyes. You also learn about the ears, nose and throat, obviously. It was just so hard learning all of that in nine days. But look, I'm in fourth year now and I'm gonna have another SGD again in ENT. It's just continuous, continuous, continuous learning. Anyway, the SGD is gonna happen anytime soon now, so I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Brothers, when day we gon' make it? We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hated us? That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. We're uh, just taking a five minute break. What we dis just discussed was cleft lip, cleft palate and how to repair it, so pretty cool. Our preceptor showed this technique in re repairing it through surgery. So now, uh, five minute break, and then we're gonna discuss uh, tripod fractures, which involve like the cheekbone, mga fracture dito. Yeah, basically that's that. Our preceptor is showing us a video kasi of to repair that the tripod fracture. Oh my God. Oh my gosh! Ooh. <laughs> this is wild! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I can't show you because this is a real patient and the uh, patient confidentiality. So, so bawal yan ipakita sa YouTube. Right now, they're cutting right under the eye so they can open it up. So they're opening this up and they're gonna put plates under that and they're gonna open this part up. You're gonna put plates under that, and they're gonna put plates under inside the mouth also. Medyo parang naka shock kung minsan, pero pag nasa OR ka, dapat syempre relax ka lang, di ba? Di mo dapat napakita true feelings mo. Pero since nasa zoom lang naman kami, parang I can show what my true feelings are. Thank you, thank you, Doc. Bye-bye. He's so good! That was my most favorite SGD so far. Maybe because it had stuff to do with surgery also, and he showed this videos, but that is such a good SGD. I enjoyed that so much. Thanks, Doc. Sayang lang kasi parang if hindi to pandemic, we would probably actually be able to sit in those operations and watch it firsthand and maybe like assist the doctors pa in doing those operations. So, sayang, but in nga, right now, Zoom will have to do. But for sure, I was entertained. I learned a lot also. I super look up to those types of teachers, the ones who go out of their way to really explain to the students and to make sure that the students understand what they're trying to, uh, what the what they're saying. Because sometimes maybe you've probably encountered profs before, they just explain the topic really briefly because they think you already know it, and so you're left out with this huge chunk of information that you have to learn on your own. I mean, reading reading is also good, pero iba din kasi yung perspective na when a prof or a teacher or a doctor shares with you their own types of learning, diba? It's a different kind of approach. And to me, that's the type of teaching that actually sticks more versus more than the, the reading. So, I super appreciate this. Um, you know, maybe because I also want to be a surgeon in the future, ganun. But <laughs> by a surgeon vlogger. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. I guess I'm gonna end this video here. 2.30 pa lang ng hapon, pero madami pang kailangan gawin mamaya. So, I'm gonna end it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.